drop pods, whatever. I gotta go halfway. Go figure. I wonder if there's another one. I wonder if I should waste my time getting another one, or if I should just do that in the next prospect. There's a whole section I've never explored. A whole desert that I haven't really touched base on except the green area. The only spot that I'm aware of that has polar bears. Kind of a pity there's none in here. Isn't there another? Yeah, up here. There might be some here. Of course, where I died. Ugh. What a horrible experience that last episode was. Left a bit of a bad taste in my mouth, but I'm, I'm over it now. It's two weeks later. A fresh start, kind of. This episode, we're going to be focusing on getting my exotic ore. Which means I'm going to need to relocate. So welcome back to Icarus, everybody. We're going to start getting things ready to go. We're going to tra traverse our way down to this area. And I'm going to make a little cabin. We're going to scrap this spot all together. And uh, hopefully I get a lot of exotics. So I know I got 16. Where did I put it? I think it was by the door. Yeah. So a couple things that I need to do ahead of time, though, is I need to get my canister holy crap I need to get that filled again um do I have I've got eight so let's go and harvest a few more oxide or a little bit more wherever that is wolf let's see let's see oxide I know there's some right around I think it's down here you wouldn't think two weeks is a long time, but that's plenty of time to forget where shit is. So harvest these two up really quick so I can fill up my canister. It's the first time I've ever actually ran out of oxygen in that canister during a prospect. And this is by far the longest prospect that I've been on. It's been, what, seven hours so far? I think my record was six before. Now it's seven. And, uh, that should do it. I'm gonna be an ass and just get that experience. I'm so close to... No, I guess I'm not that close. Because of my death. The one thing I'm gonna start doing, and I mentioned this in a comment to one of you. Put this in here really quick. Is I'm going to start working on thatch. And the thatch is gonna be used to make some, uh, quick... Yeah, that's just going to be used to make quick little huts when I'm out and about because uh, it, although I still stand my ground that the death pod should be closer to where you die, um, there are ways to work around it. So I guess uh, it's time for me to stop being stubborn and actually do what's necessary in order to get to the next area and maintain that area without dying over and over. So, what all? I know I need to take this bench with me. I'm gonna take the epoxy. I have this drill ready to go. I have one already there. Um, could probably take all of this. I can't remember what was required because I know I can make one more drill. It requires five, and then ten copper. So I need to take. I might have some actually. No, I don't. So I'll just make 10 nails really quick. Craft that up. And uh, I know I have the gold. Where the hell is it? Right here. And 15 iron ingots. So I'm going to take some iron with me. I'm going to take at least 20. And this place isn't going away. I could always run back here as needed. So it's not, a, you know, not imperative to take everything with me. That in there. Uh, I'll take my bed with me. I suppose I can just destroy this. Then with all of this. Clean up my bag from all the deaths. Of course, I'm destroying this. I wonder if I, uh... I'm even wearing any. Yeah. Okay. This stopped. Grab that and put that back on. Got full water. Got plenty of food. Foxy here. And, uh, put this away. 
That'll work. Take 20 of that. Aluminum. I don't really need it. But I'll take some with me. I can continue to have my recurve bow repaired. Steel pickaxe. I need a steel in order to repair it. Same with... Well, I can't repair this. I repair this. That requires steel as well. Do I have the resources to make a steel? Steel bloom or... I do. So I'm just going to go ahead and make those really quick. Need at least two. So that I can repair my my weapon as well as my uh, pickaxe. Is there anything else that needs to be repaired that can't be repaired? Free sap, I can make that while I'm out there. I've got plenty of ammunition for now. I'm not hurting for any more. I think that's good. Grab. I'm going to take this with me as well. Oh, it only makes sense to take this with me. I really wish I had a buffalo. Then I would just load up the buffalo. But for whatever reason, this prospect has not been very good to me when it comes to taming. Yeah. Now I feel obligated to kill you. Whatever. Um, I don't need that. I can always come back for that. 28 gunpowder. Oh, I had copper. I'll drop off six. I don't need that. I am going to need to grab. I'll leave this. I don't need. So let's grab this. Wait, wait, wait. I need to repair before I do that. That way I don't need to take this still with me. Oh, crap. Okay, so once that's ready, I get the steel, I'll repair my stuff, and then I'll take that, I'll dismantle that, we'll head out. Nothing else in here that I need. So we are going to be making a shack out there, I don't know if I mentioned that already. Not going to be anything impressive, it's going to be pretty basic, but it'll get... It'll get what I need. Shack. I have any other on me. I'll drop this, I'll take these seven. Hmm. Part of me wants to take these just in case I do find a buffalo along the way. So I'm going to do just that. Same with this. Guess I can just make these while I'm out. I guess good as time as any. Let's go see if my drill is still there. And then build my house. I'm gonna start the extraction first. Yeah. So uh I'll see you there. Okay, so it's around here somewhere. I think it's up here. Oh, right there. And my drill is still there. Perfect. Next to a coal deposit. Alright, so hit G. These two are ready to go. Let's go ahead and throw this inside. And it automatically activates, which I'm happy about. Alright, so we got those going. Where? Okay, so eight. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. I'll put this over here, just look out of the way. Put the other canisters, all the sticks. And, uh, precept right in there. And that'll be that. I'm gonna chop down a tree really quick, and I wanna make a chest. Or, oh, I don't need to. I've got wood still on me. Alright, so let's make a chest really quick. Make a big one, because why not? I'm gonna store all this crap that's weighing me down. I don't need that, though. Boy, I'll put this next to it. Seems like a reasonable place to put it. So now I'm going to be making a... Oop, I need that. I'm going to be making a basic hut that just encompasses the uh, drills. 
That, bedroll, which is all of this. It's not going to be anything fancy because all I'm doing is extracting the uh, exotics and then I'm getting off of this rock, heading off to the next prospect, which I'm hoping will be this episode. I don't, I don't know how long it's going to extract. It really depends on how long things take. But one thing I'm going to make really quick, I'm going to make four of these, one of these, I guess four of those, and one of these. I'm going to make a little shack so I can put down what I need for cover. Come on. Okay. And the purpose of this is so I can make my... Oh, shit. Where did it go? Oh, I hate it when it does that. When it you move just barely and it like goes underneath. I thought it would destroy it, but I guess not. But anyways, this, this whole purpose is so I can put down my workbench and make the other one really quick so I can have three going while I'm building. And this one. The basic door. We'll deploy this right here. Just nug up against the wall. Oh, I guess I don't need a roof. I thought you did. I'll take that one. Oh no, did I not grab enough ingots? That's probably what happened. Let's put that in there, that in there. What else did I need? Copper? I okay. Yeah, I didn't I didn't grab enough. I'm I'm shy by one. Are you kidding me? Okay. Well, I am going to run back and get it really quick because it's quicker to do that than to go through the process and make another one. So, while those do their thing, I'll be right back. Maybe I'll grab some other stuff. So I'm going to drop off what I what I don't need and I'll just bring everything. Hopefully we don't get caught up in a storm. Um, oh, here it is. Maybe I'm lucky and I'll find a buffalo. I'm still looking for them. I don't think I've ever seen a tree this small. Like, this is a legitimate tree I need to chop down. Oh, do you. Skin you really quick. Like, I have to actually chop this down. I'm gonna do that. That was a heavy ass little tree. What the hell? Oh shit, there's a storm coming in. I need to hurry. I don't want my chest disappearing on me. Right. That's not worth it. Keep going. Just run. Might be faster to just. No, I've got exotics in there. Okay. Back we go. Or do I? Is it on me? Nope. It's actually in there. Yeah. Wonder if these take damage. What are they at? Those six oh wow, they get a lot really quick. Is it taking damage yet? Yes it is. Well, let's just take everything out of there and oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> put it in here. Put that in there. Actually, I'm going to take these with me just in case. Seems like the most appropriate thing to do. Put those in there. Actually, take these back out plus that. Let's see if I can't make better arrows. 27. Perfect. Okay. I'll leave it at that. This this is fine. Move on. Of course, in hindsight, it might be more beneficial. There's like a third. I only have two more. It might be beneficial to just maintain what I have. Make the house first. Ooh.
Especially since nature is being so kind and chopping down the trees for me. I'm gonna take advantage of this. Okay, so this isn't anything fancy, but it gets the job done. Now I can move everything else in here and see through all that process. We've gotten almost 80. And uh... Why does it do that? Stop doing that! No, 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 no! Why would you fall that way? Okay, anyways. Got almost 80 and it takes about half a canister, so now I need to start thinking about making more precept. And sticks, so that I can keep these canisters full. But I'm actually gonna replace the ones that are currently in there. But these ones over here. One thing I did not grab or take or think about, and I'm hoping this filter around here, is a way of making light inside, as well as a fireplace. Which is not, you know, it's not difficult, it's easy, you just gather some rocks and some wood. But light, on the other hand, that's a little bit different. Oh, that's the peas. Oh, that's gold. Okay, never mind. So, let's go ahead and just make a fireplace really quick. Before it gets too dark. I think I only need... That's probably all I need. I don't make it very often or memorize any of that. Put that in there, and I'm gonna grab my bed, and while I'm here, everything else that I, I need. Oh. Grab the bed.
And conveniently, I've got this spot right here. Perfect. And I'll put my bed, you know, just like right here. Probably good. And just for the sake of the look, I guess I'll put railings. Because, you know, why not? I've got nothing but time to waste right now. How to work. Can I, can I sleep? Well, I guess it helped to turn on the campfire, right? Let's do the stack. Put that in there so it does something. Okay, so that is close enough to worry. It works. And just because, I'll make one more. These... I'm going to pull out the empty one, put a fresh one in. So I'm gonna let those go. Now that I have an actual building, I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and just go and get another iron. that here for now and uh, I need to make the sticks first max that out. I'll make a hundred of this and I'll use this to make more tree sap rest of the sticks, I'll just put it here. Ooh, shit. Here. Ah, oh, man, I hate it when they just run by you like that. They always get me. And the tree sap. 63. That's, that's a good start. Okay, so I'm gonna let them do their thing, and while that's all happening, I'm gonna go back up here. I'm gonna get another iron, and I'm gonna make the other extractor just to kind of speed up the process. Really hope that I get like 200 at least. I'm hoping for more, but 200 is a good amount, I suppose, for just one node. Back home we go. All just for one. Just one iron. Again, I could have always just made it out there. There was a cave nearby, but I mean, I also wanted to come here and make a steel pickaxe, which requires me to take. Well, I guess I don't need, not a pickaxe, I'm sorry, an axe, but I guess I don't really need it. Um, is there anything else? I guess I'll take these with me. Why not? Take this. I'll take these too, just because this is what I was referring to. Eh, I could just make another one. Hmm. Well, shit. That, get rid of that, get rid of these. Perfect. Um. I'll put this here. Oh yeah, that's right. I I switched the number. What the hell did I switch it to? Zero. Oh, that. Don't remember. Oh, that's not it. E no L. Oh, oh bingo. There we go. Yeah. I'll take the furnace with me, just in case. I'll take the anvil as well, because you know, why not? What else would I need to take with me? I don't need that. I could always just make another one, I suppose. And uh, I'll take my campfire. Now, I've done this test multiple times uh, to see if it's still relevant, but uh, you do not need to take them with you. I'm not going to stay and watch it this time, though. You do not need to take them with you. You could always just leave your gear here and then go back up 
and it comes with you. So either I'm glitched to where it works that way and, and I'm just fortunate in that regard, or that's actually by design. And I'll try it again this episode. I'll just leave all my stuff here and I'll risk it. I will take the backpacks with me though, but I'll leave my furnace and my campfire along with my chest, which I thought I picked up. Apparently I did not. And that is no bueno. Hang on. That does look cool, just off in the distance. Let's see. I, oh, that's what happened, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't need these, I guess. Alright. And I'm just gonna let this place burn down so there's no incentive to come back. I don't need to come back here anymore. I'm just extracting my, my exotics and then I'm heading out. Let that burn. Normally I would sit and watch it burn, but I've got my extractors going and I want to maintain them and make a third one the speed of the process, so I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. Alright, see what we got here. I need more sticks in there. And more tree sap. Oh, let's grab this. This, rather. Open you up. Make one more. Here. And I grabbed more of this, which is great because that's what I'm gonna need. How's this happen? What? Get rid of these. In this stack. Go drop this off really quick and start the next one. Are still running, which is great. It, it actually does fit, but man, it does not look like it does, does it? Alright, let that build up. Take out what I currently have. And that one anyways, I don't have space for any more. Drop off my chest. Because... There are all my exotics. Beautiful. Almost 160. Screw it. Take it all. Just move it inside. Oh. Reset. And this will go here, just really anywhere. Can I make that can? I can. I'm going to make one more of this. That's really all I have. Put this over here. Did bring this closer, but it's fine where it's at. Got plenty of this. I need more sticks. So let's go ahead and make that. Wouldn't think so, but you go through this really quick. I'll make 50 more. Bone knife. So there was one thing that was created or was put out by the developers uh, was yesterday. Or did they Saturday? See so yeah, yesterday. And uh I thought it was kind of cool. And I'm not surprised that they did it. It is a tier three though. Like, they did say they put it out. I saw pictures of it and everything. I said it was a tier 3. Is this something that you don't unlock? It's just by default you're able to make it? Huh. I'm not seeing it. It was the, uh, a cart. Here too, is that what it's supposed to be? And they just mislabeled it? 
There, yeah, it is a tier two. I swear it said tier six or tier uh, three, but no, it's a it's a tier two. So movement speed sucks though. A sixty uh, cargo slots is really really great, and I love the fact that it says unrideable. That sucks. That means that anything can come up and kill your creature. Your, your, oh shit, your buffalo. And, uh, ruin your day. Alright, so what are we at now? What are we... Oh, for fuel, I need more. All right. Oh, here comes another wave. Let's see what happens. I feel like this tree right here is going to fall. the way these trees bend. Flexing. That's actually how this... That's actually how the trunks gain strength. Is, uh, you want it to actually bend. If you're ever someone who grows plants and you want a strong plant, you need the trunk or the stem to uh, bend and sway. I don't know how it works exactly. I just know that that causes it to become stronger. I'm gonna grab this one and replace one of the other ones inside. I think that is good. Looks like it's centered. <laughs> right there. Oh shit! Damn, Mother Nature's scary! Alright, get this all repaired up really quick. That was a strong gust. Man, there's another one coming too. I'm actually curious if it'll destroy it, so I'm gonna let it sit and see what happens. Let the next wave come through. Take a sip of my drink while we wait. Turn this off. Did it bug out on me? Is that what's going on? It looked like it was coming. Look at it. Oh, there we go, it's depleted. I guess I didn't need the third one. Grab you. You. Grab you. You, you. Yeah, I don't need any of that. And I'm going to just leave everything. So I'm going to leave that there. And in fact, just because that's what I said I was going to do, I'm going to leave those there. But I'm going to take my backpacks just because I don't want... Just in case I'm wrong, these are cheaper than these, if I remember correctly. Probably wrong on that. Um, six and five. Oh, never mind. Let it be. I don't recall. Did I leave anything in the other place when I burnt it down? Certainly hope not. Okay. Um. Jesus. Okay. I'll see you at the drop pod. Alright. So we're here at the pod. Kind of just. I'm trying to get this. This level taken care of before I actually jump in. And by the way, so that um, extraction site was 194... Yeah, I think it was 194 um, exotics. Well, I should be almost done. It's like right there on the, on the cusp. So a little trick to leveling up for those of you that are 
new to my channel, something I brought up a long time ago, is these bandages, especially when you first start, this is the way to go. Because I think you get 40 experience at the at the beginning, but when you get to a certain point, it jumps to 80. But I mean, it, it it's very simple. You want to level up to get the sickle and the bandages, like first thing. What the hell was that? That was weird. Why is it doing that? that this is a really weird spot. Okay. I don't know how this happened there. I probably should get away from there before I like fall through the floor. Oh, would you look at this? If you have a baby with you. And you do. Oh, you. I'm, I'm going to kill you. There was a place for you. And that was a long time ago. Fucking honey badgers of the world. Alright, so I leveled up. Let's go ahead and go into my tech tree, get the rest of my uh, thatch, which is right here. So I need the roof. I need the wall angled. I need a door. That's a good point. So now I can actually build the actual building itself. I do need the thatch stairs. The window's not really relevant, but I will eventually unlock everything. That is the goal, but... I need to pinpoint specifically what I need before I jump to the next thing. But now I can at least make the thatch buildings, which is uh, super affordable. How much experience do you get? I already make one of these. That gives me 36. So, yeah, no, bandages is still the way to go. But like I said before. That's it, partner. You're finished here. Yay. For now, at least. So. Cinetai more or less owns space, so it's smart to stay on their good side. Keep it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see if I get all my stuff. You think that it'll give you a count of the exotics as well? So that gave me 109 exotics. So I'm actually, I don't have the exotics. It's interesting. That old... Load out, not insured. Okay, so it does delete now. Insured items can be claimed after five days. Insured items will be returned to your account inventory when claimed. Okay, so this confirms it. So I did leave these three things intentionally to see what would happen. And you lose it. I did not get my exotics though, which is a little annoying. I don't know why. You think I would. Do you need to specifically put them into the drop pod? Is that what it is? Because if that's the case, that's kind of dumb. Oh, they gave a lot more here. Alright, so let's go ahead and just delete these. Yes, the... Contents will not be recovered if they are returned to the dropship. Yes, delete them. Go. I don't, I don't close. Okay, whatever. Um, workshop. So since I'm supposed to have 300 now, I don't know why it's only 109. Um, let's go ahead and get the things that I lost. So this one it doesn't take a exotics, which is good. And with this one. Um, I really don't need that, so I'm not r really concerned about it. And, uh, that's it. So, yeah. The lack of, uh, my exotics in my account is really kind of annoying, actually. Like, where did they go? Why is this not deleting? I'm gonna try and restart and see if that does anything. Okay, so, yeah, no, it bugged out on me. So I guess going after exotics is completely pointless now. Interesting. Unless it's up here. Is it up here? No. Where do you get your exotics? So confused. This stuff actually stays damaged too. So... I mean... I actually like that. And these stay full. So it's worth filling these up before you leave, especially this one. 
Victory claim. No items currently covered by insurance. I don't care about the insurance. Okay. Either way, let's go to Olympus. See if it actually counted that mission, because I feel like there's a lot of bug. This one's for Sinatai. Okay. So it did they complete won't. it. That's good. I'm not going to worry about this one now. I'm going to jump to this one. I wouldn't trust Group 15, but the work's always interesting. There's reports of unusual phenomena in the area. Things that just shouldn't be there. They want to be the first to know what's actually going on because... Money. But first, they need samples. You feel like a walk? Medium. They'll find and investigate unusual flora, locate and unearth geoda, geodata, uh, procure samples rumored to be emerging in the zone and return them to orbit. While the operator prefers to undertake this work themselves, uh, recent personal losses have forced him to outsource. Yes, no items insured. Think so this is all different. Um, I hope I don't have to constantly reselect every prospect. It'd be nice if it would just be default. What I had before, I don't remember which one of these I had. I think this one: five physical, one suit, oxygen, water. Two suit modules, one oxygen, one water. This is it. Go with that. Obviously, we'll take these with me. Weight capacity is always, always welcome. The ore plus damage with the bow. I like taking this one just because I'll take that. Um, I fell in damage. I'll take this one, and that one. Don't normally like taking that one. No, okay, so I'll leave this. As is for now, and we'll head out. No disappointed about the exotics. Like, do you really have to put it into your pod? Maybe the next time I get it, I'll test that. I'll do half and half and see. Because the whole thing is you're supposed to be able to just bring it back with you while it's on you or in the pod. Because technically, on you, it's in the pod, right? Because you're in the pot. This one's going to be a little bit different. It will be finished in the next episode because I'm just about out of time. But I'll at least get my gear and everything set up and ready to go so the next episode we can just jump right into it. I don't think I'm going to be making a base like I normally do because if it's anything like the previous ones that I've seen, this looks like a cave, it? Um, then I don't need to worry about really anything. I just need to go up to it and grab something and leave but I saw a patch a long time ago and it seems like they made it to where you get attacked now so not only do you have to go and, and find this the sample 
but you have to defend yourself as well. It's great. Six. All right, so where am I supposed to go? So of course I'm up in this area. There's only two? Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll go to the first one and just let's see what happens. Because if it's gonna be a quick in and out, then I'm just gonna do this mission really quick. Heat gather to 500 meat. The, uh, the alkylates, ooh, frame rate drop. Uh, the alkylates seem to be buggy and it's not new, but I normally don't notice them being buggy. But I like going after the alkylates. My favorite game of all time for alkylate purposes is uh, Halo Reach. And for any of, for those of you that's ever played that, then you know that they're the challenges, I guess the goals in order to unlock certain cosmetic armor pieces. It was really well done. It made it to where if you wanted a certain thing, not only did you have to rank up, but I think my mem my memory might be a little fuzzy, but you also had to kill a certain amount of enemies of, the, of a certain type. And they can go as far as up to 50,000 before you hit the top alkylade. And it might be higher. I've never actually been able to tap one because of how high it got. It'd be nice if this game had something similar to that. Where is it at in this area? Travel to the map location. Where I'm at. Alright. I can't find that first one. I need somewhere. The last time I saw it was like a... A wall of vines and had this one particular bud right in the center of it. However, I don't anticipate they just recycled that. I, I suspect it's somewhat different. There it is. That's what you're looking for. No question. If it's a night bloom. Could be you gotta wait till nightfall. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, well, I mean, it's not that far. When does night trigger in this game? Is it eight? Man, you're waiting time. That minute took forever. Okay. So we have that one. I guess I can run over here since we have to wait for night. By the time I get there. I, don't know, I guess maybe that's night as well. Let's see. Crafting. 42. Perfect. That means I can get rid of this one. And while I'm waiting, I guess I can just do this. I need to eat. I'm going to go for the bacon. We'll let that cook up. And I guess it's only a couple of hours. Allegedly, I don't know what night is triggered in in this prospect. Okay. So it looks like kind of browsing the web while I was waiting, but I'm gonna assume six o'clock. So oh, go ahead and we ain't done here though. Check your map for the next location. Okay. Um do just that. Thank you. One more. Uh we'll head to the next spot on my light. Hopefully the next one's not like, you need to be here during the day. Well, I guess it's not that bad. I got a bed and small thatch house. So it's not the end of the world in that regard. Fortunately, this one that... Fortunately, in this one, it dropped me close to night. Oop. Uh, ouch. Gonna hurt? Oh, I gotta... 
Instead of going the other way. I need to get across. Big ass freaking wall. Oh, that bear is coming right after me. Hello. Here, of course, it's night, so it's going to be harder to find the plant, but I will prevail. Right here somewhere. I wonder if it would be down there. That's what? it. It's gotta be what we're looking for. Nice what? work. Uh, 
Well, where is it? Can't possibly be down there. What? Yes, it's... I'm missing something? And is it down there? Look around up here really quick. Maybe it's like some small thing. I suspected it'll look like the other one. Um, but I'm not seeing that. Silica. Guess I'm going down. Okay, no, it's not down here. Saying that it's up there. Okay. So I guess I'll just uh, run all the way around. Not that far of a run, though. What the hell do they mean that's it? Where? Just right here, right? Is it in there? Oh, come on. I thought it was going to be a flora. You're good to head back to orbit. Okay. Well, that's actually not too bad. I, um, I'm going to build my house, though. That's the first time that I've made anything thatch since the first time I played this game. Which means it's probably getting ready to get destroyed. Thatch is not known for its durability. We'll take this though, since I've learned my lesson. However, it never used to be that way. That's the only reason I even did it that way. Experience, maximum health, maximum stamina. Maximum health, maximum stamina actually increases, so it makes it to where I can get to where I'm going a little bit faster, which is great. All right, so I'll see you back at the drop pod. Okay. And here we are. So this mission took about 40 minutes. Time to wind up. You done everything they asked. Group 15 will be glad to hear from you again when you're back in orbit. Yay. Back. Still nothing as far as the exotics. Um, but it is what it is, I guess. Very disappointing. So we are done with that. So we have one more to go, which is this one right here. And once we're done with this, then people in their ridiculously loud cars outside. So, um, once we're done with this mission, then it's a matter of what direction we want to go. It looks like it's either going to be the frost biome or the desert, based on these two images here. I don't know if there's going to be a forest in these. There may be one, I don't know. I mean, this section right here, I can imagine, is going to be all frost. And this right here, well, these 
six right here plus this will be uh all desert so this right here might be more forest i don't know we'll find out as time goes i might let you guys decide which direction we go either north or south um we go north that will involve these six right here plus that so seven missions here or the seven down here and then it'll be so then that'll be the last seven will be the final stretch so we're gonna finish this and then we'll come down to take care of this or this and then come back up I don't know we'll find out but this is where I'm gonna end this episode it was a little bit of a disappointment I mean I've gone this far without really too much of the exotics so it's not the end of the world it's just it was a lot of time that I spent getting those exotics just to not have them. I don't understand why that worked the way it did. I'm hoping it's just a glitch. But anyways, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a message, let me know what you think. Any tips, tricks, or hints would be greatly appreciated. I am the Ambient King, and I'll see you in the next one.